All right, yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? HFM back once again with another requested video for you guys. And as you can tell by the title and probably the thumbnail, we're going to go ahead and go into the details of how to light up your maps like amazingly and properly by a few very, very simple steps. Now, the correct way or what I would say the in-depth way is to create and tweak some settings in ape regarding black ops 3 mod tools obviously but you know um it's all about the lights it's all about its settings actually but there is another way which is called maybe the obvious or correct way so to say uh, which is making your uh, skybox in ape and setting it up in, or play around to tweak the settings in ape for or with the skybox you're using in your map However, this is without anything other than Radiant, some, a few simple steps. Don't worry, we'll go right into the details and start a tutorial uh, right after a good message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by PureVPN. PureVPN provides full security to all of their clients, be 100% safe and protected with their no logging certified approval. It has easy to use apps and software for PC, Mac, Android and iOS, including Linux. And they also offer advanced tools such as easy to use port forwarding, dedicated IP and DDoS protections and much more. Head over purevpn.com and use their 82% off in your advantage and use the code SG4Y to get an additional 10% off of your full order at checkout and get three extra months for free, including a 31-day money-back guarantee. Guys, that's a total of 92% that you can save, plus gaining additional bonus for using the code SG4Y. Talking about the bang for the buck. Thank you, PureVPN, for sponsoring this video, and let's get started. Okay, so it all started in our Discord server where someone was saying, I think it was Parsep, Parsep K, Parsep, K, whatever. This guy, <laughs> he basically uh, started the conversation of in our Discord server of, uh, is it possible to uh, uh, make? And he linked the video, you know, on YouTube. He linked the video. He said, is it possible to make something like this in Black Ops 3? Like, as a map with the, all the lighting and stuff. Um, if I don't forget, I will leave a link in the box below for you to check this video out that he linked. And I gotta say, it's quite amazing. It's really good. And um, I, I'll, I do have the actual comment, which I will put on screen. And he basically said, look, I've seen in Gary's mod, people make some graphic mods. Is it possible to do it on Black Ops 3 or even Black Ops 1? Um, yes, well, in Black Ops 1, you can, but those tools are like a bit meh. Uh, however, people did made some graphic mods on Black Ops 1, which is pretty damn easy to install. And it's really good. I think it was like a shortcut where you press the number 5 or something. It would turn it on and if you press it again it would turn it off um but yeah definitely in black ops 3 definitely very very easy um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up radiant uh let's open zm testing and let's open it up in radiant like i said i'm not gonna go through the details of playing and tweaking with the settings in ape you can do that which is really good um configure the lights and stuff and the the amount of light it, it provides but this is without them um however if you combine those then it's obviously gonna be really good okay so let's give it a second to load the actual thing here and here we go you can see that the lights are there's like blooming and stuff right this already looks good now if you do misc prefab let me just drop a uh, a little map in here Okay, you see that? The God Rays, bro. Look at that. This is w with the settings already in it. Like that little window cause is causing this God Rays, you know? And this is like... Dude, this is insane. So, imagine what you can do with night. So, if I do... Um, let me see. Where is my entity browser? No, entity list. Volume sun volume sun hit n and i do we got the default morning let's do an ssi2 
Let's do default night. Okay. And wait, maybe do the other one. It was something with there was a nice look. Oh yeah, this one looks good. And then we hit build for the lights being built. And oh, it's done already. Oh, do you get the moon over there? And we'll do the same thing as before. It will also cast some of these god rays. And this is this is transit, by the way, right? This is transit. So how we do that? Let me delete this. Let me delete transit map. You can see that the lights are still there. Now all I have to do is rebuild it. And it will do the exact same thing. It will look amazing with your lights there. And it's it's really cool. I like it. Okay. Um, let's put in a little smaller map. So, but uh, wait. How do we get this then? All we have to do is... Press N, and I will provide a link in, in the description box below that will take you to the post on our forums that will go in depth and in, in details. It's a pretty much detailed written um, tutorial. So all we have to do is, you see this one? You won't have this one. It's called V Bloom. Um, basically, you do add KVP, and again, press escape. Nothing is selected. Right, nothing is selected. If, if 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 nothing is selected, you press N to get the entity info. It should say here world spawn. Okay, and then you just add these KVPs. V bloom. Right. Um, so I can just do this. Delete. So what you do is V bloom. And a name of a skybox. A great start is MP Apartments and see if that will work or if it's to your liking, you know. MP Apartments is a great way to start. So I do enter. You can already see a little bit of difference, but that's the bloom. We also have the V color. Same thing. You see that difference there? So basically, you just do. Add KVP, V color, and put MP apartments in here. And then you basically simply just do the light bulb here, and that should do it. We need a little bit, we just need one more thing to make it really look amazing. That is the lit fog. So go to FX browser. If you don't have it, it's a. Uh, no, not FX browser. Press B to get the entity browser and hit lit. If you type in lit, it will filter and under the section volume, you should see lit fog. We're going to drop that into here. And there's our lit fog. Wherever we want some good looking god rays, cover that with that lit fog. Um, if that is the whole map, cover your whole map with it, which I am going to do. I'm going to cover the whole map bit above and bit under okay now while that lit fog is selected i'm gonna press n and you see here uh light bank whatever where it says default fsi1 browse to a few you think is good for example you can just browse one by one but what i've noticed is that um dogs volumetric works the best yeah dogs volumetric works the best now we just hit build and that will have the god race and such um you can really see a bit of the popping and stuff or was it factory volumetric i don't know i don't remember oh maybe it was the factory uh, but try a few things here and there, and then you'll get like, uh, I, I can see a bit of volumetric here. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Okay. What if we do morning? 
Oh, that's default. We can also do um, empty apartments underwater. Volumetric, it says. Oh, wow. It has a little tint. Oh, that's quite cool. Yeah. But like I said, it's mainly those key VPs. V bloom, V color, and then putting a lit fog into the thing. Combine these, what I just showed you. Combine that with uh, additional settings in, in, in Ape. And you will get a fantastic looking map. You get the point. Um, hopefully I helped you out. And thank you for requesting this video. And also thank you for watching this video. And if there's anything I can help you with, feel free to uh, contact us through Discord. Open up a ticket anywhere, anytime soon. And we will get to you and help you out ASAP. Um, I don't think I have anything to say other than thank you for watching. <laughs> Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.